Hey, what's up? This is Hunter with Tortoise and Hare Software, and today we're going to be talking about how we can save your MSP a bunch of money when advertising on Google Ads. Uh, so I know I audit a lot of MSP advertising accounts, and I see some of the same mistakes over and over again from hiring kind of uh, freelancers that don't know what they're doing, or going with a do-it-yourself approach, and uh, wasting a lot of money. And I can kind of tell you some of the reasons why Tortoise and Hare software is different and why we can uh, save you a bunch of money on Google Ads. Um, so the first and foremost reason of why we can save MSPs uh, specifically uh, money on Google Ads is because we work specifically with MSPs and other B2B technology companies. You know, a lot of agencies and freelancers are working with generalist uh, companies such as realtors or home builders, property managers, boutique stores, you know, and all of these things are really like stuff that the average person can pick up some sort of knowledge of in their day-to-day -day lives. So it's much easier for a generalist agency or generalist freelancer to step in and be able to effectively advertise a, a realtor or a property manager because these are pretty intuitive concepts that we're all exposed to. Um, but an MSP is different. There's specialized uh, knowledge required of the industry. Um, it's more difficult to identify, you know, keywords that are uh, relevant to MSPs um, that may be referring to specific technologies or uh, methodologies. And you really need to be working with an MSP marketing agency, regardless of whether that's Tortoise and Hare software or not for your marketing and advertising. Um, so that's reason one, and I'm going to pop over here to a, a little PowerPoint um, to talk through some of the other reasons. Um, and then the next of those reasons is, you know, we have a deeper understanding of machine learning uh, than going with a do-it-yourself approach and, quite frankly, compared to a lot of other agencies and freelancers. Uh, these algorithms need accurate data and you need to be able to uh, set your Google Ads account up to track the right conversions and bid on the right keywords and train your algorithms appropriately. And if you don't do this out from the start, it's really going to have a negative impact on your account because you're going to be training the algorithm to um, target the wrong people. So for instance, if you know, one of the things I see is a lot of MSPs when they're doing advertising on Google Ads is that they struggle with generating a lot of consumer leads. And when you're doing that, you're training your account and it's going to impact all your campaigns in the future to target those consumers because the algorithm has been fed data that uh, you know identifies consumers as the likely target. So that's difficult uh, to undo. It's not impossible, but it's one of those things. It's like if you go with a you know, an amateur advertiser, or you go with a do-it-yourself approach and you train your account to perform badly, then it's going to continue to perform badly. So you have to understand the machine learning, how it works, and how to train these algorithms properly. Um, and that comes with a deeper understanding of the configuration settings in Google Ads. Uh, these are changing constantly. Uh, I've been doing advertising now for about three years in Google Ads, and I've seen about two to three times a year, there's a significant change that requires uh, an adjustment of configuration settings or just kind of an adjustment of strategy on how to structure the account or something like that. So um, if you're not keeping up with this stuff regularly and reacting to how to uh, optimize the account's performance based on these changes in configuration settings, you know, new available audiences, new available match types on keywords, things like that, uh, again, you're going to train your account to perform badly, and it will continue to do so. Um, so the next reason that we can help save MSPs a ton of money on Google Ads is that we've got knowledge of MSP keywords to target. And we've actually got a free download of 30 industry uh, keywords that convert for MSPs, and you can download that on the Tortoise and Hare software website. I'll put a link uh, to that in the video below. Um, and those are 30 free keywords that have documented conversion history when advertising on Google for other uh, MSPs. Um, but, you know, one of the things I see a lot of MSPs struggle with, again, is that they attract 
the consumers and not businesses. And of course, you want to, if you're running a B2B like MSB, you want more uh, leads from businesses. So, you know, a good example of that is, you know, we've advertised slash uh, I've advertised on IT support keywords versus technical support keywords. I found that IT support keywords um, are a much higher rate of B2B searchers, whereas technical support keywords do have B2B searchers, um, but in general, those tend to attract a lot more, uh, you know, people searching for technical support for their Comcast or uh, AT&T or something like that. So, um, you know, that's just an example of, you know, we know the right keywords to target. We know kind of uh, how to structure your account and how to kind of develop a strategy based on your budget and uh, your advertising goals. Um, Almost more importantly though, is like we know who not to target. So we have a repository of negative keywords that can help improve, dramatically improve the performance of your account right out the gate. Um, and these are done through, our, through advertising our way through to the discovery of these negative keywords. So when you hire a tortoise and hare software to do Google ads with your MSP, you get that repository of negative keywords, uh, learnings from other accounts, audiences not to exclude, uh, things like that and that's becoming more and more important in um, today's advertising landscape because targeting accuracy is going down so a lot of people are going to be in multiple overlapping audiences so you know targeting people in a you know a desirable audience is not enough because um, it's still going to be filled with a lot of junk you need to target people in that audience and then exclude the uh, things that are um, not going to be helpful for instance people searching for employment um, and one of the biggest areas I see MSP struggle when it comes to doing digital advertising is they should have never been doing advertising to begin with. They did not have landing pages that were sufficient enough quality, their website was not sufficient enough quality, and their advertising efforts were doomed from the start. So we have a much better understanding of landing page performance uh, factors than um, you're going to be able to do in-house you know we know how to write persuasive copy we know how to structure web pages we know how to make sure that they're um, optimized on all devices we know how to break up the text to keep people engaged uh, etc etc so we know how uh, we have a much better understanding of landing page performance factors that are going to make your advertising campaigns a success so all right um, so that's a quick breakdown hope you enjoyed the video um, again, this has been how Tortoise and Hare software can help you save a ton of money uh, doing Google Ads advertising for your MSP. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, just let us know below. And if you like the video, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube because we're going to be releasing all sorts of great new digital marketing content um, in the coming days and weeks. Um, again, I'm Hunter Nelson with Tortoise and Hare software, and thanks for watching.